I want to tell you a story about my son, Zach. Um, he was a very, very tough kid who found himself in a very terrible situation. He was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, um, a very aggressive form of leukemia when he was five years old. Zach really endured pretty much every therapy imaginable. Zach's hands were completely burned from chemotherapy. His face was burned. He endured three bone marrow transplants. Zach was a energetic uh, kid that loved life. He loved science fiction. He loved playing with his brother and sister. He loved driving high-speed go-karts and riding high-speed uh, uh, roller coasters. I believe part of his personality was part of his success. I feel great. I'm gonna get through this. And leukemia, if you're watching this, you're going down. He wanted to live. He said, Mom, I wanna live. And so we searched the United States. Um, we looked in every corner. We looked at every therapy. Ultimately, they didn't have anything really for Zach. And that's when we got a call from the Fred Hutch that they would take his hopeless case. They thought that maybe they could help Zach's case. And uh, once again, we packed up the family and we headed to Seattle. We knew that he needed a third bone marrow transplant. And so that's the path that we went down. It required Zach get into remission. Um, he got another big round of chemotherapy. Came through that, um, and uh, but he did not get into remission. We talked to them about what could be done for Zach to push the boundaries. What could we do? What did they have that was out of the box? And that's when they came back with the thought of uh, targeted T-cell therapy. With targeted T-cell therapy, uh, we are really now at the cusp of being able to engineer cells that not only will recognize the cancer well, but which can overcome many of the obstacles that are posed to the cell by a cancer. So what we're doing here is taking the T-cells from a patient and engineering them uh, for them to see and to specifically kill only the patient's tumor. The kind of tumors we're targeting are uh, leukemias and lymphomas and solid tumors uh, such as uh, lung cancer and pancreatic cancer, uh, ovarian cancer. One of the other benefits of the therapy is that the cells can persist for a long time in the patient, so should the cancer return, those cells are present and can eliminate the cells that come back. T-cell therapies are also able to be less toxic than chemotherapy and radiotherapy strategies. We can use the immune system to fight against cancer by training it to recognize the bad cells and not the good ones and specifically kill cancer while leaving the rest of the body healthy. At this point, we are doing clinical trials. We are infusing cells into patients. We have uh, very promising results and that's why it's so exciting. We talked to the doctors and the, the team here in Seattle. We discussed the targeted T-cell therapy and the success they were having there, you know, how we might get that treatment available for Zach. Um, they did not have Zach's tissue type. The T-cells for Zach's specific tissue type had not yet been built, and it was going to take some amount of time. His leukemia was beginning to get more aggressive, and so he was enrolled in a clinical trial for a third bone marrow transplant for patients who were not in remission. Zach didn't hesitate. He, he wanted to fight. He wanted to do it. Um, and he was fighting all the way to the end. Zach went into bone marrow transplant for a third time. However, this time he um, developed chemotherapy toxicity. His liver just couldn't take it anymore. And unfortunately, he died on February 7th. When you see somebody like Zach and you realize, you know, it's very sad that you have a therapy that looks promising and then have nothing to offer to somebody. We had picked the tissue type that's the most common, the most frequent in population, and that's what we've been testing. And that will take care of about 45% of the population, but it won't take care of more than half of the population. If he had been a different tissue type, we could have provided cells for him right after his transplant or even before his transplant. We could do that tomorrow, 
if we had the money to hire the people, to buy the laboratory supplies, to do the experiments. There's nothing more frustrating or more heartbreaking to walk out of the room and say, there's nothing I can do right now. It's important to us that Zach's life not just be a senseless tragedy, that his story, his journey can propel hope for other families. It's important to us that we leave a better path behind us. And our family's hope is that we can do whatever we can to bring research dollars to help drive this to completion and help speed access of this new therapy to other kids and adults in desperate situations like Zach. Zach was strong. Zach made it easy to be strong because he stayed strong. And uh, we never gave up throughout. We never lost hope throughout all the way till, till the very last day. Um, and Zach didn't. And that made it easier for us to, to not give up.